Joining me in the URSA Live studio is Linda Mitchell with Newtown Athletic Club. Linda, it is a pleasure to have you today. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. So tell us, why is it so important for clubs to be engaged in their community? It's very important uh, for many reasons, but the most important reason is to help support your brand and your position in the community. You can't be a business in the community and really be successful unless you make yourself a part of the community. So I always say there's two ways to do that. And if you remember two words, one is to serve and the second is to give. And by to serve, I mean make yourself accessible to the community. Go out into the community, join into groups, whether it be the Rotary or the Kiwanis or the, or the Chamber of Commerce, and become a viable, effective member of that group or many groups, as many as you can, and um, make a contribution to the community. So you serve your community. By serving, people will get to know you. And it's, a, it's another way of, of sharing your message without really selling. Right. And uh, secondly, I mentioned give. That's very, very important. In the communities in which we thrive as businesses, it's important that we give back to that to those communities and to the people in those communities and the world in lar at large, if, if you can, um, and do that by supporting whatever charities or charitable initiatives that you can, make your club available through um, hosting charity events, that sort of thing. Again, that's another way of, of um, supporting your brand and sharing your message without really selling. Linda, could you share with us a certain way that the Newtown Athletic Club has served and given to their community? Uh, yes, I certainly can. Uh, we went ahead and developed a foundation. Uh, it's called Have a Heart Foundation. And that foundation has two goals. One is to identify needs in the community and the world at large and find ways to meet those needs through charitable work, raising money, um, uh, volunteering in our community, anything of that nature. Um, and we also uh, work very hard on advocacy issues that we find important. The two that we find important now are one is called Right to Try for the terminally ill patients in all of America so they can get medicines that are experimental faster. And the other issue is of course URSA's issue um, of passing the FIT law personal health investment today. So um, That's been a big one here at URSA. That has been a big one and we're spreading the word. We want everyone to know about it so they can go back into their own states and talk to their constituents, their members, and their congressmen and encourage them to support that bill. And what has been your experience at Newtown Athletic Club? How has community engagement actually affected member and employee retention? Um, you know, it, I'm going to say it's hard to measure, uh, but we know that our, and our members and our employees um, appreciate what we've done. Not only do we do it for their organizations and their groups and some grassroots needs in the area, and they come to us and they tell us, but we do it on a more global level. Uh, for example, ALS research. We raise a lot of money for that. And there are people in our community affected by that. So we know that they appreciate it. And one thing that's on my list to do that I've been thinking of for a couple of years, and I actually got the idea from our members, is to create our own group of volunteers um, that will be, I'm not sure what I'll call them yet, whether it'll be NAC cares or uh, NAC volunteers, but they're always coming to me and saying, how can I help? And I want to organize them into a viable volunteer group. You know, anybody can do that. And that's another way to really solidify your standing in the community through these efforts. That's great, Linda. And it seems like Newtown Athletic Club is in good hands and under some good <laughs> leadership. So how can people find out more about this business? Oh, easily. Just go on to the website, www.newtownathletic.com. There you have it, Linda Mitchell in the house at Ursa Live Studio. <laughs> Thank you.